Lab, FBO Headquarters, Washington, D.C. Oh, Ken, did you get it out? Yes, Agent Soki. You had a fry in your neck. A fly? No, a fry. You mean a chip? Yes, you had a piece of potato wedged in your neck. Ken, is it a potato wedge or a potato chip? Agent Soki, please. I'm still recovering from that aspirin I took four months ago. Let's have a look at this thing under the microscope. Boy, I, I can't see the chip very clearly. Ken, that's a telescope. Wow, the chip looks like it's a thousand miles away. And you're looking in the wrong end. Smolder, there you are. Tied up with work? No, just waiting for you two to finish the conversation about the chip. Right. Bye. Sulky, I think we should take this chip to my nerdy computer whiz friends, the grassy know-alls. Do you think that they can link this chip in that mysterious video to some massive global conspiracy? No, they just like junk food. Assistant Director Skinhead, what brings you all the way up to the lab? Are you kidding? It was the only way I could get into today's episode. Sir Agent Sulky had a chip stuck in her neck. Oh, really? I once had a nut caught in my throat. Hey, wh why is everyone standing so far away from me? Is it my breath? Ken, put down the telescope. Who's that idiot? Agent Smolder, sir. You've known him for years. No, he was talking about me. Weren't you, skinhead? Weren't you? Yes, you were. You were talking about me. Smolder, what's you? wrong with I, Ken? I, I, He's I, gone berserk. Ken, oh, put down that muscle oh, burner. Oh, oh. brought about Ken's drastic personality change. I don't know. I'm crazy. Ken Smith and Soki learned the origin of the mysterious chip. Is a nut the only thing Skinheads has stuck in his throat? That information's classified. Learn all the answers next on the Expo. Last episode, after removing a mysterious chip from Agent Soki's neck, Ken, the lab assistant, suddenly went berserk with a Bunsen burner. I'm sorry, Soki, smolder, Skinhead, but sad as it is, you'll all have to sizzle. Ken, do you feel you may have abused the letter S in that sentence? Don't try to stop me, for I can't stop Ken, myself. Ken, be careful. Your clothes are starting to catch on fire, and this is a no-smoking area. Ouch! It's burning! Oh, the pain! Oh, stop the pain! <laughs> There, that should stop the pain. Assistant Director Skinhead, you just killed Ken. That wasn't Ken. All FBO agents are trained to have a far greater tolerance to pain. Ow. Smolder, what's wrong? You bumped me. Smolder, look. The person we thought was Ken is bleeding, but it's not blood. It's... Green plasma. Sophie, this is an alien-human hybrid. Look, Assistant Director, finally we have proof of the existence of extraterrestrials. Damn, it just disintegrated. Why? Think about it, Smolder. If we prove the existence of alien life, that would be the end of the series and we'd be out of a job. Good point. Smolder, did you hear a noise? Sorry, agents. I ate Indian last night. No, sir. It's coming from the broom closet. Oh, it's Ken. The real one. Thank you, Agent Soaker. Someone grabbed me, tied me up, and threw me in here. Did you see who it was? Uh, no, but if you find him, can you get their number? I, I'll get lonely sometimes. He must have put the hybrid here to kill us because we discovered the chip on Sulky's neck. Good grief. This is just like Independence Day. What, aliens taking over our planet? No, ridiculous script. <laughs> In Sulky's apartment, Washington, D.C., late at night. Very late. Past my bedtime. <sighs> Smoter's still got all my Playgirl magazines. I'll have to go straight to sleep. Mm. Banging. Probably the newlyweds next door. No, it's, it's coming from my wardrobe. Oh, my goodness. What is in Sulky's wardrobe? Let's see. Fourteen overcoats, a suit... Can the agents uncover the alien conspiracy? Well, I'll try and uncover something. Will Ken ever come out of the closet? Hey. I'm sorry it was there. I had to say it. Stay tuned for the next Out of This World episode of The x Fool. Last episode, Smolder and Sulky discovered a conspiracy involving alien hybrids and fish and chips. Now, as Agent Sulky drifts off to sleep, strange sounds emanate from her wardrobe. Psst. Agent Sulky. Psst. Wet the bed. Agent Sulky, over here. Who's there? Where are you? Um, in your closet, under your lingerie. Are you from Dial-A-Date? Because that's not till Saturday. Agent I... Sulky, it's me. 
The mysterious man who hides in the shadows and gives you what you need. Then you are from dial a date. Agent Soke, I have important information. Oh, your rates are going up? Listen, I left my fish and chips in San Francisco. Well, I bet they're cold by now. What are you talking about? I can't say any more. Give my regards to Agent Smolder. I thought you couldn't say any more. Wait, where are you going? Hey, that's my petticoat you're wearing. Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco, 9 a.m. Smolder, look, this must be it. The oldie worldie fishy and chippy shoppy. So, can we need to get in there right away? Because you think when they abducted me, this is where they put the chip in my neck? Um, yeah, and also I'm a little peckish. Can I help you? Can I Can help I you? Help you. Smolder, all the shop assistants look identical. You know what this means? Yes, the IVF program is very popular here. Smolder, it means they're hybrids. Alien hybrids. Can the alien hybrids be exposed? Smolder, don't even think about it. Can Smolder and Sulky crack the fishy conspiracy? Well, I've cracked a... Smolder. Can I have fries? I mean chips with that. Find out in the next electrifying episode of the Expo. Last episode, Smolder and Sulky had discovered the government had been creating alien hybrids in fish and chip shops to colonize Earth. Yeah, well, guess you have to be there. I was, and I still don't understand what's going on. FBO headquarters, Washington, D.C. Assistant Director Skinhead, you've cut yourself shaving. Really? Where? Right in the middle of your bikini line, sir. That's it. I'm going back to waxing. Oh, my God, Smolder. Th that's not really the Assistant Director. Look, he's bleeding. Green plasma. What have you done with the real skinhead? Smolder, the, the, the hybrid's gone, disappeared, disintegrated, vanished into thin air. I He's think the listeners got the picture, Sulky. Okay. Sulky, I don't understand it. How the evil dancer man has managed to create an alien hybrid of assistant director skinhead? No, how he cut himself shaving with an electric razor. Smolder. I'm singing in the rain. Cancer man, the evil figure behind this whole conspiracy. What have you done with Skinhead? <laughs> He's preparing to meet a sticky end. Not that dating agency again. <laughs> and you're too late, Agent Smolder. Colonization is about to commence, and you'll never find me in this forest clearing about 20 miles upstate just near the old windmill. Damn. Come on, Sulky. We've got to drive 20 miles and three seconds of spooky music. 20 miles and three seconds later. Smolder, this looks like it. This, this must be the colonization site. Sulky, can you see the forest clearing near the old windmill? No, but I can see the alien craft about to land. Sulky, it's Assistant Director Skinhead. That's what I mean. <coughs> Sir, are you all right? They abducted you, stripped you naked, and bound you in gaffer tape. Yes, but it wasn't all fun. I'll have to remove the tape, sir, so you can walk. Assistant Director, Dancer Man's been experimenting with human-alien hybrids in fish and chip shops. <coughs> Abducting people, putting chips in their necks to raise their cholesterol because aliens have no fat. And now the aliens are landing for colonization. Really? Go on. Uh, I, I think that's all, sir. Not to you. Smolder, keep ripping. My God, Sulky, there's a long line of aliens river dancing through the forest. And they're being led by their mastermind of the whole conspiracy. Michael Flatley. No, Dancer Man. That's why he made the alien hybrids. He wants to create the ultimate dance spectacular. That's right. From now on, I'll be known as Lord of the Aliens. Sulky, there's only one thing that can stop this invasion. Humankind's most devastating creation. You mean? Yes, disco music. Lucky I brought my twin turntable funky town disco console. Okay, everybody out on the dance floor. Look, yeah, Smolder, let's it get worked. The alien dancers are beaming back to the ship. It's leaving. But where's Dancer Man? I'm not sure. I think he had an audition for Cats. Uh, assistant Director? You um, yeah. uh, sir, the disco's over. Yeah, stop the music. Uh, we f we down, finished, sir. Uh, sir, everybody um, you can take off the white suit, sir. sir. Have Smolder and Sulky stop the alien river dancers for good. All right, yeah. Lord, yeah, come Lord. back. Yeah. Can they ever stop Dancer Man? Man. Marie. No! Will Assistant Director Skinhead please stop dancing? Ain't gonna bump no more with no big fat woman. Who knows? 
Just don't miss the next adventure of The X-Holes.